Model Test Six, Speaking Section. The speaking section tests your ability to communicate in English in an academic setting. During the test, you will be presented with six speaking questions. The questions ask for a response to a single question, a conversation, a talk, or a lecture. You may take notes as you listen, but notes are not graded. You may use your notes to answer the questions. Some of the questions ask for a response to a reading passage and a talk or a lecture. The reading passages and the questions are written, but the directions will be spoken. Your speaking will be evaluated on both the fluency of the language and the accuracy of the content. You will have 15 to 20 seconds to prepare and 45 to 60 seconds to respond to each question. Typically, a good response will require all of the response time, and the answer will be complete by the end of the response time. You will have about 20 minutes to complete the speaking section. A clock on the screen will show you how much time you have to prepare each of your answers and how much time you have to record each response. Number one. Listen for a question about a familiar topic. After you hear the question, you have 15 seconds to prepare and 45 seconds to record your answer. In your opinion, what are the characteristics of a good son or daughter in a family? Use specific examples and details to explain your answer. Please prepare your answer after the beep. Please begin speaking after the beep. Number two. Listen for a question that asks your opinion about a familiar topic. After you hear the question, you have 15 seconds to prepare and 45 seconds to record your answer. Some people are attracted to jobs that include a great deal of travel. Other people prefer jobs that allow them to return to their homes every evening. Which type of job opportunity would you prefer and why? Use specific reasons and examples to support your opinion. Please prepare your answer after the beep. Please begin speaking after the beep. Number three. Read a short passage and listen to a talk on the same topic. Then listen for a question about them. After you hear the question, you have 30 seconds to prepare and 60 seconds to record your answer. The professor's attendance policy is published in the course syllabus. Read the policy in the course syllabus, printed on page 451. You have 45 seconds to complete it. Please begin reading now.
Now listen to a student who is talking with friends about the policy. On the one hand, it's good that you can be absent once without explaining why. But on the other hand, you can't be absent more than one time without getting a lower grade. So, I'd rather have the option of explaining my problem to the professor if I need to be absent, and then try to figure out a way to make up the work. Look, if I'm sick for two weeks, I don't think it's fair for the professor to lower my grade as long as I keep up with the class. Or if you have a legitimate reason not to be there, like a family emergency or something, I don't think you should have to choose between your health or your family and your grade in the class. The student expresses his opinion of the professor's policy for excused absences. Report his opinion, and explain the reasons that he gives for having that opinion. Please prepare your answer after the beep. Please begin speaking after the beep. Number four. Read a short passage and then listen to part of a lecture on the same topic. Then listen for a question about them. After you hear the question, you have thirty seconds to prepare and sixty seconds to record your answer. Now read the passage about insects, printed on page four hundred fifty-two. You have forty-five seconds to complete it. Please begin reading now. Now listen to part of a lecture in a biology class. The professor is talking about insects. Strictly speaking, a spider is not an insect. True, it's an invertebrate and an arthropod, but it belongs to a class identified as arachnids. Arachnids are not included in the insect world because their body structure is very different. The bodies of spiders are divided into two parts. The、uh, head with a fused thorax, which is all one structure, and the second part is a separate abdomen, joined to the large head thorax part by a narrow stalk. The head contains what many researchers now believe is a highly developed brain. There are no antennae, but four pairs of eyes and eight legs covered with fine, sensitive hairs more than compensate for the absence of the antennae. These hairy legs and feet explore the environment, sending sensory messages back to the brain. Okay, the abdomen. Remember, that's the second part of the spider. 
it includes not only the digestive and reproductive systems, but also the silk glands that allow spiders to spin their webs. So, as you see, even though spiders and insects are commonly grouped together as bugs, they're really not the same. An oversimplification is that spiders have too many legs and not enough wings. In reality, the entire body's structure is quite different. Describe the structure of an insect and explain why a spider is not strictly considered an insect. Please prepare your answer after the beep. Please begin speaking after the beep. Number five, listen to a short conversation, then listen for a question about it. After you hear the question, you have 20 seconds to prepare and 60 seconds to record your answer. Now listen to a conversation between a student and his friend. Can you believe that I've been here almost a whole semester and you're the only friend I've made? No, how can that be? I don't know. You know me better than anyone here at school. I thought maybe you could give me some advice. Sure. Um, well, do you belong to any clubs or any organizations on campus? That's always a good way to meet people. No, I don't have a lot of time to, you know, go to meetings. Well, neither do I, but I do play intramural sports. What's that? It's just a group that meets regularly to play basketball. Of course, there are lots of other teams besides basketball, I mean. You could join a football team or soccer, a baseball, volleyball. Just go over to the recreation center and sign up. They'll put you on a team. You could use some time away from the books. I'd like to do that, but... Well, since you don't want to take time away from your studies, why don't you join a study group or get one going in one of your classes? That way you wouldn't feel like you're wasting time. And besides, the people you meet will be serious students, so maybe they'd be better friends for you anyway. Describe the man's problem and the two suggestions that his friend makes about how to handle it. What do you think the man should do and why? Please prepare your answer after the beep. Please begin speaking after the beep.
Number six. Listen to part of a lecture. Then listen for a question about it. After you hear the question, you have 20 seconds to prepare and 60 seconds to record your answer. Now listen to part of a lecture in a psychology class. The professor is discussing the Skinner box. There have been several references to the Skinner box in your textbook because a lot of behavioral modification experiments still use similar devices even today. So let's just take a few minutes and make sure that everyone understands exactly what a Skinner box is and how it works. The box, which was named for B.F. Skinner, the American psychologist who developed it, it was used in Skinner's original experiment in 1932, and its construction hasn't changed much from that time. It's just a small, empty box, really, except for a bar with a cup underneath it. So picture this. In Skinner's experiment, a rat that had been deprived of food for 24 hours was placed in the box. As the animal began to explore its new environment, it accidentally hit the bar, and a food pellet dropped into the cup. The rat ate the pellet and continued exploring for more food. After hitting the bar three or four times with similar results, the animal started hitting the bar with intention instead of by accident. It had learned that it could get food by pressing the bar. In other words, the food stimulus reinforced the bar-pressing response. So, many psychology experiments were modeled after Skinner's original research. Um, various animals have been placed in modified Skinner boxes and presented with conditions that will result in a reward, food or some other desirable object or experience. In most of the behavior modification experiments in your book, you'll see a citation for Skinner's classic study. Using the main points and examples from the lecture, describe the Skinner box, and then explain how the device is used in psychology experiments. Please prepare your answer after the beep. Please begin speaking after the beep. Model Test 6, Example Answers. Example Answer for Independent Speaking Question 1. A Good Son or Daughter. The role of a good son or daughter changes over the years. Initially, being an obedient child is probably all that a parent requires. But when a child grows up and begins to become independent, then a good son or daughter is a person who has good character who does well in school or succeeds in a career and demonstrates the personal qualities that the parents have tried to teach. Um, a good son or daughter is also a good parent when they have children of their own. When parents see their grandchildren being brought up well, uh, they know that they've provided a good example. And, and when the parents become old and need care, a good son or daughter won't be too busy to spend time with them and provide them with help. Example answer for independent speaking question two, job opportunities. Although a job that involves travel seems glamorous to people who spend day after day in an office, it really isn't for me. 
For one thing, traveling for business usually means going to the same places repeatedly and staying in the same tired hotel rooms. Besides that, the pace of a business trip doesn't allow much time to see anything besides the inside of an office building and the road to the airport. And eating in restaurants isn't that healthy, and traveling all the time is exhausting. No, I'd rather have a job opportunity that, that would let me sleep in my own bed and、uh, eat my own cooking.、Um, but ideally, the job would also include a three week paid vacation so I could travel to a destination of my choice and relax. Example answer for integrated speaking question three Excused absence. According to the professor's policy, students can be absent from one class without explaining unless there's a test scheduled. And then the professor expects students to go to her office to give her an explanation for being out of class and arrange for making up the test. Also, being absent more than once could mean that your grade could be lowered by one letter for each time you miss class. The student doesn't agree with the excused absence policy because he thinks that his grade shouldn't be affected by absence if he makes up the work. Um, from his point of view, a valid reason for absence, uh, uh like an emergency, a family problem, or illness, uh, that shouldn't jeopardize his grade unless he fails to keep up with the class or his work's unsatisfactory. Example answer for integrated speaking question four. Insects. Insects are arthropods with a three part body structure a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. The head has a pair of eyes and a pair of antennae, and three pairs of legs and two pairs of wings are usually attached to the thorax. Now, although a spider is also an arthropod, it isn't considered an insect because、uh, um, it only has a two part body structure. The head and the thorax are joined together on a spider and attached to its abdomen by a thin stem. And a spider doesn't have antennae, but it does have four pairs of eyes. Instead of six legs, it has eight hairy legs that are used kind of like an insect uses its antennae to explore the environment. A spider doesn't have wings, it has a unique glandular system that allows it to spin its webs. So, because of this very different body structure, a spider is not really an insect. Example answer for integrated speaking question five Meeting people. The man's problem is that he hasn't been very successful meeting people and making friends. He's been on campus for an entire semester, and the woman's the only friend he has. She suggests that he participate in some clubs, but he's reluctant to spend the time required for meetings. The woman plays intramural basketball. She says that there are a lot of sports options at the recreation center. Another possibility that she recommends is for the man to join a study group. That way, he'd meet some serious students, and he'd still be using the time to study for classes while he was getting to know people. I think that the man should join a group to play sports for an hour, twice a week. Because he probably needs the exercise, and he should also try to get into a study group, because he'll probably have more in common with the people who are using their time to study for their classes. Example answer for integrated speaking question six Skinner box. A Skinner box is a small box that's empty except for a cup and a bar. When the bar over the cup's depressed, a food pellet drops into the cup. An animal that's placed in a Skinner box will explore the environment for food and at some point will accidentally hit the bar, releasing the pellet. So, after the animal hits the bar about three or four times and it's rewarded with food, then it learns how to find food using the bar and it begins to hit the bar on purpose. The Skinner box, or something like it, it's commonly used in psychology experiments that involve behavior modification. By presenting a subject with the opportunity for a reward, the behavior that produces the reward is reinforced. In the case of the classic experiment, the subject's opportunity for a reward is a food pellet, and the behavior that's reinforced is pressing the bar. But many types of rewards and behaviors have been used.